Why well, hello there people from the internet, how are you doing? I am the Russian Sniper and I'm playing some Bad Company 2. Now the rule of the thumb is, I always go back to Bad Company 2 at least once or twice a month and get back into it, play a couple of days and get a couple of rounds done and just remember as he, as he used to be back in those days. Now, I know there's all that, oh, why did uh, people love Bad Company 2 so much? Why do we don't know? That's what Dice is saying. Well, the reason is because it's just awesome, it's just simple. And that's that. I mean, I could go into it and tell you exactly why Bad Company 2 was the best. Uh, simple reason, he had character, he had personality, he had something. You know, the game brought something to it. Rather than being just another military shooter, he had something. You know, if you, if you look back, how many of you can tell me what the Battlefield 3 or the Battlefield 4 campaign was really all about? What was his name? the main character. I, I, I couldn't tell you that, but I could tell you why Bad Company 2 was what it was, you know? It's just one of those things, the Bad Company 2 is always going to be remembered that way. Um, but since uh, there's not really that much going on this time of the year, Bafia Hardline has been sort of announced and re-announced, beta gameplay is going to be out at some point next year. I remember watching a bit of a panel Q&A with the uh, guys of Visceral and they announced that the beta is going to be out early in the new year so that's probably going to be around January I'm really hoping towards uh, middle of January or something like that even though we do have quite a good amount of games coming out in January I wasn't really hoping that January of 2015 is going to be such a busy year for gaming I mean as it is so far you kind of left with Assassin's Creed uh, Unity you left with Far Cry and you're left with the crew maybe if you want to pick that up or something else but with the issues that ubisoft has had lately in the, most of the games that got released this uh, sort of winter that includes assassin's creed it was buggy as hell it wasn't really finished there was no story to it and apparently been working on it for a few years so fuck me i could have done a better job doing that myself i would have told them a better story and uh, far cry again it's it's a good game it's a huge improvement to far cry 3 but it's just empty, there's nothing really goes on in the game. You do have about 20 odd missions to do yourself and then you have some side missions. But when it comes down to something to do in the game, there's nothing really there. As for the multiplayer, it's 5v5 on big maps. It's boring as hell. There's just nothing really for you to do. And to make matters, to make matters even worse, they've not even done the Rakshasa or whatever they're called, the Cloakers. Uh, they're not a one-shot kill, but I covered that in a different video if you want to check that out. It's uh, Far Cry 4 is multiplayer any good. So if you want to check out about the Far Cry multiplayer, then you can do so by checking that video, which is going to be probably a link in the description. If not, it's going to be linked at the end of the video on the screen. Uh, getting back into Bad Company 2. Uh, Bad Company 2, for me personally, is always going to be one of those games. You know, the, it, it, There's just nothing to it. You hop in. You have a bit of fun and that's that. You know, it's all about working together with your team. You know what you're doing. You know what you have to do. The balanced rush maps, the balanced conquest maps. Oh, shit, son, you failed with that shotgun. But never mind that. The, everything was just balanced and that's the, that's the reason I loved Bad Company 2. Hey, Wookie, come back, man. Look at that. We need to have back. I mean, I've stressed this so many times and I'm going to say it again bring it back whatever you do whatever happens into battlefield 5 bring out the wookie suits you know the wookie suits have to come back you just cannot have that many years without any wookie suits that's the one thing i have really as a criteria and uh just to quickly move away from it watching that uh, panel with the guys of visceral and everything and one guy in the audience asked a sort of sort of good question about is there going to be a beta of star wars battlefront in the battlefield hardline game when you buy it you know usually dice does this kind of this kind of thing when you bought medal of honor you had something and so on and so forth usually they always include some sort of beta or some sort of alpha or whatever with it so i think that would be a really cool thing i mean obviously we know it's going to be a beta at some point it's going to be probably an alpha at some point that we'll get to some of us will get to try it and hopefully i'll be one of them uh but that do you think that'd be a cool idea to introduce something like that hey wookie come back man hey stupid fuck it's me i 
man, I love the even the voiceovers in this game were absolutely amazing. You know, when you try and if you play Bad Company 2, shoot a Wookiee. Uh, I mean, he has to be on the US because the other ones don't sort of sound that funny. But even his voice, even his... Give him... Let him pick up another kit. Hey, I have some ammo for you, man. He just sounds stupid when he says it, but it was just so funny. And I remember just listening to him and just shooting my own teammates in the back. Just to get him to sort of just talk a little bit. And it was just like... It's just fun. That's, that's what Bad Company 2 was. It's fun and... If you still haven't picked it up by now, then you owe it to yourself to pick it up, and it's kind of always on a sale. You're not going to be paying $60 for it, usually you're paying $2.99, $3.99 or something like that, since uh, it's kind of always on sale. But if I really had to go back and sort of pay for another game, I mean, you've noticed console markets doing this these days a lot, remastered this, remastered that, and you're basically paying for the same game, but... Battlefield Bad Company 2, it'd be probably one of the only games that I would really pay for to have it remastered or something like that. But one of the other major issues with Bad Company 2, uh, well, no, it's not an issue really, it's a good issue, is I've noticed an increase. I mean, a triple, quadruple... Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, man, don't be wave to people. You're in a video. You're famous now, motherfucker. <laughs> It's a lot of servers now. There's not like 10, 15 servers. When I recorded a video a couple of uh, months back about how Battlefield Bad Company 2 is still going on and all that sort of stuff. But now there's so many servers. I think it's more populated than Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. I could be, I could be wrong there, but with the amount of server I'm seeing there day, afternoon, night, there is no such thing as you'll not be able to find a game in Bad Company 2. It's just, it's just awesome. That's just the way it is, and that's the only way I can say it. And if dice, if you ever do anything related to bad company, then all you have to do is improve the graphics, and that's it. Don't fuck with the guns. Leave the guns. Leave the sounds. Leave everything alone. It's good as it is. You know, I'm noticing lately the frostbite engine. Every single time, every single time there's a new game coming out there's less and less destruction. You know, we went from completely obliterating maps, and I remember playing uh, Laguna Pressa, and there was a couple of guys in there, said, let's just level out the map. And I said, oh, fair enough, do whatever you want to do. And they completely leveled the map. There was not even one tree standing after about 10, 15 minutes. You know, it's less and less destruction, and I don't think it's going to be that much destruction in Bafia Hardline. It's going to be, oh, yeah, that micro destruction. Hey, look, pages flying and shit. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Out. One, two.